I was always interested in building research, or buildings in general. I want to work with buildings once I graduate. And uh, so I came to Concordia because this is the place to do buildings research. And working with Dr. Fazio, this is his area of expertise, thermal and moisture properties of building envelopes. The actual aim of the project, the overall project, is to find a universal sandwich panelized wall system that could be used anywhere in the world to build low-cost, sustainable housing. We heard about this project that was happening in Nunavut with sandwich panels. Because my research was already focusing on sandwich panels, we thought this is perfect. Now we just need to talk to this company that's doing this work. We can get some panels from them and we can test them. I just need to know how far away this needs to be. That started in February and now in September we've got our test hut. It's an inverted setup. So the inside, in fact, is going to be cooled to the heating design conditions for Nunavut, which are around minus 40 degrees. The rest of it will be at the regular lab conditions, 20, 22 degrees. This term, we will be cooling the inside of the house and we have sensors within the wall panels, both at the connections and a foot away from the connections. We're going to compare the temperature readings from those and we also have moisture content sensors which tell us how much moisture is in the wood, which can have an effect on temperature readings and also on long-term performance. Moisture is, is a big problem, especially dealing with wood. There's two ways that the testing is happening. Number one, we have the sensors that take direct readings that go to a data acquisition system. The other side is thermographic imaging. We're using an infrared camera to take pictures of the connections and the door to see if there's any major defects. It's a very, very useful tool because it's very visual. It's very easy to understand for anyone, not just people who, who are familiar with research. There's so, so many challenges up north. Number one is just the location. It's remote, there's no roads, everything has to be shipped in, and then you have the climate, which cuts down your construction season to just a few months. Because of the remoteness, because of the difficulty in getting materials up there, everything costs so much more. 142 houses is chipping away at an iceberg. It's, it's the, prob the housing problem up there is so much bigger than just this. This is a, a huge project, and it will, it will make a difference to some people. The Nunavut Housing Corporation are hoping to have this project be successful so they can continue with it.